Hi everyone, I was asked to do a makeup look to show what the Phantom looked like underneath the mask from Phantom of the Opera. Um, so I decided for this one I'm going to make a latex prosthetic. So I've just roughly drawn the shape of the prosthetic I want to make and what I'm going to do first of all is apply a thin layer of latex to that. I'm doing it on this metal tray so it will peel off easy after. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour on some latex. And first of all I'm just going to use this just to make a fairly thin layer, especially around the edges. So it will be easy to blend in afterwards if the edges are thin. And I'm not smoothing it down completely because I want a texture to this when it's dried. So as you can see there's gaps and lumps and bumps which is, oops, which is what I want. So it looks like that so far. And I'm just going to let that dry and what, I, what I'm doing is as it dries I'm just going to make little marks and lines through it so it looks like really textured, I don't know, burnt or deformed flesh. So that's the first coat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that to dry and then I'll apply the second coat and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay so the first layer is almost dry so what I'm going to do is add a little bit more latex Spread that over the top of the previous layer. I'll smooth down those edges as thin as I can get them. And again, just rubbing to create a bumpy texture. Don't need to be all smooth. I'm just going to rub out where the eye is. Just want to make sure there's plenty of room for my eye in the middle of this. Just put squiggles and things through it so that it's not smooth. I want quite a textured flesh. So I'm going to leave this to dry and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've done two layers on this prosthetic and left it to dry. And as you can see, it's a lovely 
yellowy colour, but that doesn't matter. First of all, I'm going to take a thinnish paintbrush and with a brown eyeshadow, I'm just going to go in these little grooves and dents that are created just to make them stand out a bit more. I'm just doing this with brown eyeshadow. like so. Then I'm going to take a little bit of black eyeshadow just to darken around the edges. Just to darken over the whole thing. Most of this is basically to get rid of that sort of yellowy colour of the latex. Just keep blending these colours together, just the black and the brown over the top of the latex. And I'm going to apply a little bit of a red colour. over the top like so this is darker than it looks on camera and a bit redder. For some reason the red's really washed out on camera. Then I'm going to take a face powder. And apply that over the top. I'm putting plenty on to get rid of any stickiness in the latex because otherwise it'll stick to itself when I peel it off the tin. I 
I'm going to apply a bit more brown. Looks quite, looks quite green on camera, but it's more of a browny, ready sort of colour. I'm going to take a bit more black, just again go in those little creases and bumps and lumps. Brush off all the excess. Like so. It's actually gone really bright. So on camera this looks yellowy and greeny, but actually in real life it's more of a sort of pinky, burnty, burnt type of fleshy colour. And then all you do is very carefully peel up one of the edges. You have to be really careful that you don't roll it together. So you just start to lift it up. Crap. And I've just folded that edge over. Which is good of me. Just remember to dust it with powder as you peel it up. So you don't get the edges folding over on themselves. Gonna peel that up. It's a bit fiddly, and dust it down. Peel up the next bit and dust it down. And keep going round, peeling it up, dusting it down with powder. And keep going until I've peeled the whole thing up and covered it in powder on both sides. I have got a couple of bits where I've folded the edges over, but never mind. Not done this before, so I'm going to make a couple of mistakes. As you can see, I'm, as I'm gently peeling, I'm applying powder. Because otherwise, if you don't, the latex will stick to itself. So I've laid that upside down now and anywhere that looks shiny gets a coat of powder. I've got a couple of edges that have stuck together but most of the edges were alright. And that's it, just a very simple prosthetic.